accommodate the lid and go from there. I mean, the nice thing is, these come from Honduras and the Dominican Republic and Cuban, and there's a lot of mahogany used for the box. It's normally around a quarter of an inch thick or less, and just so happens mahogany is using guitar making, and it's a great acoustic wood. All right, we have our notches cut for our fretboard. You can open this up. Just take it, lower the blades, and take it till it's flush with that. We're going to cut a dado. Essentially, it's just a large dado. The width is the width of our lid, and it's quarter of an inch deep, or the thickness of that. What I'm going to do, my outside blade, rotate it. Make sure the saw is unplugged when you do this. And we're going to make our cut right there. And you can see how that line on our outside blade is right there. Turn our saw on make one cut, then I'm going to adjust it, go to the other end, line up that pencil line with the outside of the opposite blade, make a cut, and then it doesn't matter. I'm just going to hog out that middle. This is the meat and potatoes joinery for the guitar. The other important thing is doing the neck where we drill the holes for the tuning peg. We'll get to that shortly. Again, used mostly for the kids, but then turned into an instrument that some blues players would use. It's three strings, so they would tune them to an open tuning and do uh, a lot of blues with them. The early Delta blues pioneers used